Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Victoria and today we are going to start a new series which will contain videos about gynecology. This one specifically will be about the diagnosis of pregnancy and some possible differential diagnosis. First I want to talk about the diagnosis of pregnancy. Most women suspect that they might be pregnant by the absence of the onset of an expected menstrual bleeding. This suspicion is usually followed by a pregnancy test, which measures the levels of HCG in the urine. This test is usually very reliable, with an accuracy of 99% if done in the right time. It can, however, show a false negative if the test is done too early and the levels of HCG have not yet begun to rise. A normal over-the-counter urine pregnancy test is usually able to show a positive result around 10 days after conception, when the HCG levels are expected to exceed 25 milliunits per milliliter. The blood ACG test can be done by a doctor. The quantitative blood test, also called beta HCG test, is done to measure the exact amount of that hormone in the blood. It can help to estimate the day of conception more accurately and is also useful in diagnosis of ectopic or molar pregnancy and miscarriages. The qualitative HCG blood test is done to check if HCG is present, but not how much of it. Doctors usually ask the patient about her current situation and take an anamnesis before doing a pregnancy test or sonography if a pregnancy is suspected. If a high-risk pregnancy is suspected due to physical status or age of the patient, abdominal pain, bleeding or other abnormal development, the doctor can make a sonography as early as 6 to 8 weeks of pregnancy. Here, usually an abdominal sonography is not accurate enough as the ultrasound waves have to pass through the abdominal wall. That's why the early pregnancy ultrasound is usually done transvaginally. It is possible to see the size of the fetus, the fetal heartbeat, and to see if there is one or multiple fetuses present. A differential diagnosis is basically an alternative disease or condition which should be considered by a doctor when a patient presents with a certain sets, set of complaints. In the case of differential diagnosis for pregnancy, those include states of non-pregnancy or of abnormal pregnancy. Patients present usually with tender breasts, nausea, fatigue, increased urgency of urination, and often also the absence of an expected menses. This set of symptoms can speak for a pregnancy, but can also be due to a patient entering menopause, the presence of a tumor, or the psychological disease of pseudopregnancy, where a patient thinks she is pregnant without the physical presence of an embryo or fertilized egg. Also the presence of a fetus outside the uterus, so an ectopic pregnancy, is considered a differential diagnosis as it usually does not reach full term and will be or will have to be terminated during the first weeks of gestation. Also it is possible that non-pregnancy related conditions as an appendicitis can mimic symptoms of an early pregnancy it is associated with abdominal pain, discomfort and possibly increased urination. The diagnosis of pregnancy is in many cases very easy and already done by the expecting mother herself at home. 
but some cases require further examination and sometimes a pregnancy is discovered when the fetus is already developed enough to have a detectable heart sound, which usually has its onset three to four weeks after conception and can be detected with a transvaginal sonography. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful and if you like our channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much.